Welcome to the Good Karma Sport Fishing Podcast. I'm your host, Captain Ryan Van Fleet. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Tomorrow is grouper opener. Uh, super excited. Uh, just a lot of fish out there to be caught. Red groupers, black groupers. You've got the deep water snowy, wa- snowy grouper complex has opened up. Gray tile fish. Just it opens up a whole realm of fishing for folks. And, you know, so get out there and enjoy it. Have some fun. Catch some fish. Uh, enjoy a nice meal uh, because that's what it's all about in the end is just the full experience of going out there and hunting a really big fish now i have my certain ways that i like to fish for grouper and if you'd like to learn what those are i have courses available so i have the uh, in the good karma fishing tackle store i have the grouper bonus that's for sale and i have the reef fishing course that's an awesome course Uh, it gets into anchor fishing how to get dialed in on your anchor, uh, finding groupers. I give you some structure on the Seymour, what to look for, areas that I fish, uh, you know, anchoring sand to, sand to rock, all that good stuff is in the, all the examples are in the, um, the reef course, as well as there's some really good examples in the grouper bonus. So if you want to know exactly what I do as far as on the reef, uh, I outline it in the grouper bonus and the, the reef course, it's there. Now, a lot of guys like to troll for grouper, and I'm going to talk a little bit about that today. Now, personally, I do not like to do it. It's not part of, like, my DNA. In other words, I just don't jive with it, and I get asked that often, well, why don't you do this, and why don't you do that when it comes to grouper fishing? Well, it's because I simply don't like to troll for groupers, okay? I don't like to do it. So um, I don't like to pull weed from my bait. And I got to tell you what, if you're going out there and going grouper trolling tomorrow, good luck because there is so much weed out there and I hope it blows out for you guys. I really do for you guys that like to troll because it is nasty out there. Nasty. That it's like it has arrived and with that, with all that wind. So I'm praying that it's moved somehow. So you guys have a successful um, time out there trolling for groupers. But I got to tell you what, the last thing I want to be doing out there with all that sargasm weed is trolling for for black groupers and what red groupers and all that stuff on the patch reefs. But the trick is, the trolling for groupers, is I do know how to do it. Uh, I just don't like to. It's just not part of who I am. So, and a lot of guys, well, why don't you do it? Why don't you do it? Because I don't have to and I don't want to. There you go. That's my answer. (laughs) So, don't ask me anymore. Don't ask. (laughs) So, get out there. And troll them. If you like to troll and you want to bow the weed, go for it. I sure the hell won't be. I'm looking to catch other types of fish too along the reef, just not groupers, okay? So I want to catch some muttons. I want to catch some yellowtails. I'm like, I would just want to catch. So that's, fishing for me is a lot of fun. And I really stress that with clients is that that's what it's all about in the end is having fun, okay? Having a good time and being out there on the water and really learning about how to catch these fish, and that's what I do. I teach people how to catch fish, and as a fishing guide, that is my number one job, is to teach people how to catch, how to catch fish, what they're doing. Um, I want them to improve as anglers, and I want them to be better fishermen, better grouper fishermen, better mutton snapper fishermen, uh, mutton snapper fishermen, a better yellowtail fisherman, better wahoo fisherman, and to know that there's always another way to catch fish, okay? And a lot of influencers out there today, they are trying to make it sound like there's only one way to catch fish. Well, that's not true, okay? So trolling for groupers is another way. I just don't do it, okay? So, but here's how, how to do it. Man stretch plugs or big, um, big islanders, big islanders rigged with um, ballyhoo work really well. Double rig ballyhoo, you can, do, you can do the split back ballyhoo with the two hook rig works really well. You can troll wire. Uh, you can run your LP reels or, and there's a lot of guys that have LPs. You can run them on planers and you can run uh, Tanacom balls. You can run all those electric reels. You can do that with bet butts. Now the trick is, is you got to run them way back there. You got to get them really deep, uh, big trolling leads and, and then you run them like two to four miles an hour, get them down there. Now, where do you fish? Uh, one thing you can do is I feel that the north wind, when the wind blows out of the north, trolling for grouper is, is, can be really good. Okay, so if that if the water's really clean, you want to look for the edge. Okay, you want to find the edge of the reef, and that's where they're going to be at. 
So you find your edges and you, and you can see the rock and you want to troll on the outsides of them. Now, if you get hit, you really got to like, like, you really got to move them out of there quick. Okay. Now, see more map. Uh, just remember that Seymour map is now a public map, so those spots have been hit pretty good. But what you can do is that you can pick out isolated like patcheries in like 20 to 30 to 40 foot of water. Uh, I feel the best areas for trolling grouper are like French Reef area up to the um, the elbow area. The, the patches up there are really nice and the grouper tend to get in those areas like by the Spiegel Grove area inside those patches. Um, like. And they get in there and they're in there now okay so they're in there now so within the next couple of weeks and you get some clean water and you're out there you can get the um, the big man stretches you can use the big islanders you can use you can use the um, the nomads work really good okay if you run your nomads on electrics and you run them way back there with um, your LPs or a big 80 wide a 50 wide uh, you can run them shorter, like I said, to get them deeper, you have to, you know, you can follow all that stuff that they have on their package. Uh, so that's another option for you guys that don't want to set the anchor and, ch and, and chum and, you know, or you can wreck fish and the Dwayne is going to have a shitload of groupers on it. The Eagle Wreck, tons of groupers there. Uh, all those areas are going to have groupers, okay? All those public wrecks are going to be loaded up with groupers. So if you get there first, you're going to catch them. Like the guys will be probably camping out there tonight on the Dwayne rack and the bib rack and all those, all those wrecks looking to catch groupers. So you're all those public, like I said, all the public wrecks are going to have them. All the public numbers are going to have them as far as public wrecks go in shallow. Uh, so don't overthink it and just go fishing. Just run your planer setups. Use 80 wides, 50 wides number eight planers, get in there along the reef, adjust accordingly, pray there's no weed, look for the clean edge. If, you, if, the, if the visibility is awesome, you really got to have somebody looking for, the, looking for the ledge and that'll really help you guys get dialed in. I feel the north wind fish is the best, best for them. So, or you can go grouper bombing, okay? Grouper bombing. And that's, you can buy my grouper chum ball mix video and there you go, grouper bombs. I've got that in there and yeah, make some chum bombs, have some fun. So if trolling isn't for you, you can like catch them with spinning rods using the grouper bombs, chum ball mix. So I talk about grouper bombs and what that is, is I, I put a big piece of meat in a chum ball and I use a, I use a big spinning reel and with a heavy with heavy drag and I send it to the bottom and I catch them <laughs> using spinning reels. So yeah, I the story behind that is many years ago when I first started I couldn't afford to buy weight. So I had to come up with a way to get baits to the bottom where I could catch groupers, okay? And I knew that chum balling was the way to go because I worked on a commercial boat and I learned how to chum ball. Chum ball. But the sand thing wasn't working for me. It was hard to get a hold of and then what's so much fun about it is you can add stuff to it and make it better, so which is very cool. But um, I want to share a little story with you guys. When I first started, there was an influence out there. He's still out there to this day. And I was really like learning how to catch fish. And, and I couldn't afford to buy weights. And I was very like, I mean, when it, I could... I could afford to buy some line and everything I could do to like keep my charter business going because starting a charter boat business and doing it yourself is takes a lot, okay? So by the time I got done investing in the boat and doing all that and getting it going, I started out like just doing what I could to, to catch fish on and like get my business to work, okay? So I did a lot of grouper fishing during season. And I, like I said, I couldn't use weights because I didn't have any. And it was a treat when I got to go out and buy three weights because all my money went back into my boat for gas. And this went on for several years. And everybody started seeing that I was catching some fish. And then I started getting some messages from some influencers. And then what was happening is, is that they started messaging, messaging me out in the water when, and showing me what they were catching and like, they would kept sending me pictures and pictures and pictures and pictures while they were out there with. Now, you would think that somebody that was doing that would 
offer assistance. And instead, it turned into like a bragging thing, is that I'm better than you, okay? And they, the guy was trying to put me in his place. Again, I'm not going to share who this was, but still out there. And what that did was it lit a fire under my ass. And I would never do that to somebody that was starting out. I would never, if, that, if I knew that they were starting out, I would never send them pictures on a tough day where I knew, I, mean, I, can, I know when people are struggling. I know when it's tough out there. So, but I would never do that to somebody, okay? And if somebody does that to you, you should really look at them twice about whether they should be in your life or not, okay? Now, I used it as fuel and to get better. And that's what I did. And I really worked hard at learning the grouper fishery and developing my own style. I knew that I didn't want my style anything related to that guy's style. I wanted, to, wanted it to be my own, okay? Because there was never, like, it, like a lot of guys look, look for mentors and all this stuff. And as I was doing that, I was like, you know, someday I'm going to get to a point where I can do this podcast and share stuff with you guys and create a group of, for guys that really want to get better, a private group. And that's where I'm at today. And I just want to thank that guy for doing what he did, okay? Because it lit a fire up my ass to get better and to help others. And I know this podcast has helped others. Now, and, you know, I've lost a lot of listeners over the years, but they weren't the right listeners. And they eventually come back because they know where, the, they know where to get the nuggets. And you guys know who you are because I know you're listening. And... I just want to. I just want to let you guys know that I'm going to continue doing the podcast. I've just been really busy with work, and I'm really working on trying to get this YouTube thing going for myself. And it's just. And I'm right now. I'm working on the um, the Chris's Bait and Tackle Shop, which is now owned by um, there's new owners, and I've been like helping them get things going there. And I'm going to put stuff in there for you guys. Stuff that I use personally. I'm working on getting a full line of BKK hooks in there. I'm trying to get keep stuff and I'm going to really help you guys as far as leads. Um, I know that you can only sometimes only buy a few things and you can't buy things in bulk. So that's what, what I'm working on now. So I got a lot of things in the fire and I'm going to really work on keeping the podcast going here over the next over the summer and just continue it because I really like doing it. I really like sharing. Now, just know that certain things in your life, you're going to have things come in. You're going to have things go. You're going to, you're going to have bad days on the water where you're going to like feel like the world's crumbling down on you. Well, that isn't the case. You got to go fishing. I mean, if you're a recreational angler and you got to go fishing on the ocean, I mean, you know how many people in this world like dream of doing that? Like, especially for us living in South Florida, there are people all over the world that just dream of doing, having a boat and being able to take it out on the ocean and catch fish. I was one of those guys. Now I talked in my last podcast about using satfish and using satfish, you can fish from home. You can study the currents every morning instead of pulling up all this crap on YouTube and pulling up Instagram feeds. You can pull up satfish, have a cup of coffee and look and see how the current's moving. And that's what I like to do. I like to pull it up in the morning, have a cup of coffee, and get my day started by just watching the currents and seeing what's happening on the reef. And I gotta tell you what, as far as user-friendly goes, as far as looking at the current, and satfish for me is is really nice. And like I said, I've been, like I said in my last podcast, I've been using it, using it since last September. Otherwise, I wouldn't be talking about it. So like I said, I stand behind the things that I promote and I am I really love satfish. Now, you can purchase satfish for $129 a year and you can actually get it as a 30-day um, a 30-day trial, which is what I did at first before I decided to buy it. Now, what you do is just go to the website and at checkout you can enter good karma has a discount code and you get get $20 off your first year, which is pretty awesome. So, that's a little nugget for you guys. Uh, fish at home, study the currents, put your time in at home and on the water. 
Everybody says that time on the water, time on the water. Well, it's time at home too, time at home too. Less time watching crap, more time studying and getting better, okay? More time studying and getting... That's all I got for you guys today. It was a little longer podcast, but I wanted to share that story because, you know, coming up, you know, it's... um. Everybody has their challenges, and I have a lot of challenges in my life, so I work hard every day. Uh, Melinda has helped me with her energy healing to deal with a lot of stuff that's going on in the fishing world, and I got to tell you what, it's made a huge difference in my overall general, um, just overall, my mental state, how I'm viewing, like how I'm going about my day-to-day now. So I would highly suggest that if you guys really want to do some work and you guys are like all this other stuff out there about therapists and all this stuff and hey man, if you guys are struggling, there you can do the work, okay? Now you can email Melinda at Van, MelindaVF at Outlook.com. You can talk to her about her energy healing. Listen to her podcast. She has lots of good nuggets in there about getting better and I got to tell you what, The stuff is really good, and I really, like, every day I practice it. In one way, shape, or form, I'm doing it. So if you're interested in scheduling a session with Melinda, you can email her at melindavf at outlook.com. I have to tell you, in the fishing world, there's, there's, you got to have, like, you got to really, 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 really be in tune with what's going on out there. And if you have a lot of clutter in your life and a lot of things that are going on, you need to heal yourself and then watch what happens, okay? So there you go. Follow me on Instagram at goodkarmasportfishing underscore FL underscore keys. And if you're looking to book a trip this summer, you can email me at goodkarmaryan at gmail.com. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, I'll probably be putting out a YouTube this week. Maybe if my clients will let me do some shooting, I might little put together a little um, collection of um, grouper fishing stuff you know, over the course of the next few weeks that I'll put out for you guys in a, in a, in a YouTube video. Uh, that's it. Thanks for tuning in, guys. And remember, anytime you're fishing, it's all good.